What's up, guys? Your boy D on the TL. You bomb back! Taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Black Panther. Before we get real into it, though, this just showed up like minutes ago. Um, from from Amazon, interestingly, they they seem to be the first ones to be dropping the pre-order. But the box it came in was in perfect shape, but inside, this thing is mangled. It's been smashed. You can see it all caved in here and... You know, these are these are Hasbro toys, so I'm not worried about it being damaged or or anything. I'm just, but still, that's I mean, that's that's careless. Like somebody just like stepped on it or something crazy at the at the factory. But these are plastic-free packaging. These are no longer for display unless you're a like you got to be an extra special kind of person, right? To be just hanging these up on the wall. You don't even know what's in there, man. How about we find out though? So here we are, first figure in the first proper plastic-free packaging wave. Hasbro's Marvel Legends series, Black Panther. From the Atuma Build-A-Figure wave, ages four and up. You're rushing, honey, you're gonna choke! So instead of a peek at the product, we get a digital render. That may or may not accurately reflect what's inside. Probably on the fine print somewhere, it'll say something like that. And honestly, this is how a great deal of products are sold the whole world over. It's just, it's just a, it's a transition period. And it seems a bit of a rough one at that. But you get this nice comic style print on the one end. Back to the other. I like this. I like this here. We have the Build-A-Figure featured prominently. So you can see what you're getting into and a list of the characters as well as the one you have highlighted. On the bottom, you know, it's even more superfluous than ever. Logo on the top, good and smashed in. Now, I guess on these two, just for posterity, we, we are going to open the plastic-free ones on camera. They are, um, they're, they're, in my experience, pretty simple to open with the VHS stuff anyway. And yeah, yeah, look at that. Nothing else, nothing else in there. It's all happening right here. All of my tape seem to be intact. That's the worry is, of course, people returning it and putting whatever they want inside. But I, I myself have, have not had... Anyway, wow, that's clean. T'Challa himself and some accessories, including a couple of fists and the Build-A-Figure piece, I believe. That is all. Right out of the package, our new pinless panther comes thusly. Ow. As ruler of the nation of Wakanda, it is King T'Challa's ancestral right to wear the mantle of Black Panther. What powers does he have? Well, you know, he's one of those superheroes who's like super speed and strength and agility and, and, and so on. You know, but he's, he's not stronger than the Hulk and he's not faster than the Hulk. But he is a top tier hand to hand fighter and has all of the advanced technology of the nation of Wakanda at his disposal, including impact proof armor. Vibranium. This figure looks so clean. I'm telling you what, this head, you know, I really hope that's not reuse of the last one, but it fits, it fits great. Little detail in the eyes and the wrinkles on the face. Again, painted on, painted on. And we are rocking the double pinless Vulcan body. hey -o. With, you know, if it wasn't as apparent here, because it is there, but we have the modular arms and legs. There's that little line separating so that they could put on these pieces with the sculpted detail. Same thing on the legs. And all together, just some special feet. But otherwise, it is a simple, flat, black design. It just looks really, really clean. I don't believe it needs any extra, any other extra color. As long as it's painted well and the, the, the black chosen, I think it's, it's just right. The way the light hits it and everything else. The gray accents at the, at the gloves and the boots are really well done. It comes with a belt overlay as well as this cape. So really, in the looks department, I mean, the simplicity is king. No, he is king. The simplicity really works well here. Okay, I know I recognize that belt somewhere, but these friggin' hands have been haunting us for <laughs> for 10 years now. Since 2012, these came on a Black Panther figure. Come on, guys. Come on. But I guess if a guy really hates them, he could swap them out for these fists, because those are the only accessories he comes with. As the Black Panther character, I don't think a lot is really required. You could have optional necklaces, capes, maybe, maybe a spear. I don't really care about that. I think he's got everything he needs. I appreciate extra sets of hands for expression. An unmasked T'Challa head would have really put it over the top. But he does, of course, come packed with his piece of the Atuma Build-A-Figure. Wow, 
Wow, you guys see that? There's a one on that hand and a two on the other. They can even put these where it's hidden. Matter of fact, they can even tell based on the orientation of the thumb relative to the fingers. Who's putting these together? Space monsters? Checking out the articulation, this figure comes on their brand new Vulcan body mold. He is the cream of the crop. Featuring a head on a hinged peg up here, so it'll come back this far. Cape be damned. And down this far. No side to side. Not, not, not a lot of tilt up there because they're not just using that little ball. But it works pretty well. You can get a little bit of side eye from your king, you know. Hot new butterfly jointed shoulders. They're going to come up this far. They'll rotate all the way around. And they'll come forward this far. And back this far, they'll be restricted a little by the cape, but but not too much. You could take this whole thing off of here if you wanted. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait, what have I gotten myself into here? Okay, so then it has the little cord. You can just drop that down over the legs. Nice. And you could even you could put this on anybody. There's not even a peg. I like the way that fit though. They're getting better with these all the time. Port that right back on. Clean Panther. Either way, man. Either way. This figure is awesome. And the feel of it, too. While we're here looking at the articulation, you guys should know the feel is a lot more premium. It feels like that Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. Not like some sicky, junky, clicky, old Bucky Cap figure. So he's got these big, yummy biceps with a cut there that'll rotate all the way around. Double-jointed. Pinless. Yeah. Yeah. Get both of those joints. That's just, that's fantastic. And it looks oh so clean. Hinged fist at the wrist, coming in, coming back, and it'll rotate, of course. There is a cut here, but this isn't articulation. This is just how they uh, interchange the forearms for the molds. I think that's great. Modular. I think diaphragm cut would have been preferable, but here we are with the ab crunch coming way down, coming way back, and that waist cut that'll rotate all the way around. Hidden nicely by the belt. Put that wherever you want. Down here at the legs, they're going to come out to the sides here to do the splits pretty well. It's not a drop-down condition, I don't think. No. But you get really nice range out of that. Same to the front. To the back, you're going to run into the butt. You will be able to twist the upper thigh right here. Double-jointed pinless knee looking really nice. Coming as far as you're going to need that sucker too, right? And because of the cut here, they're like, why not? Why shouldn't that be articulation? I do tend to agree, guys. So you get that, and then you do get back and forward on the foot, as well as some really nice ankle rocker. This guy is like a triple shot of that cream. Checking the height, the Black Panther stands about six and a half inches tall. Kicking off the comparisons, we have a couple of other Black Panthers. The 2012 original on the Bucky Cap body and his sister Shuri. This new one just blows that one out of the water. I got the Walmart exclusive, but I never opened it. It's just the same figure as this one here, just without the blue highlights, and uh, you know, with a cape. With a, uh, it's the same one, just with a spear and a little, a little cape, you know? <laughs> See? I like the optional necklace too, but it's like in the time of plastic free now, maybe maybe I just hold this guy and have a classic Avengers roster behind some plastic. Whatever, who cares about that life? I don't have the retro carded one. Sadly, I passed on like half of those retros from wave two and they were cheap and they were cheap and then they were just gone. And compared to a couple of variants from across the multiverse, we have the main Marvel Cinematic Universe Black Panther, as well as a variant that became Star-Lord both portrayed by the late, great Chadwick Boseman. And it's T'Challa's ex-wife, X-Man Storm, as well as Ironheart. The most recent Captain America, and the ever-loving blue-eyed thing. They really are, though. The Winter Soldier and Baron Zemo. Chief enemies of the African nation of Wakanda, besides the entire rest of the world, Ulysses Claw and Namor the Submariner. Okay, last minute edition, the Hot One Special. Look at these sexy new pinless figures. Iron Man, Spider-Man, Black Panther.
Compared to a couple of other 6-inch lines, Stormtrooper and Storm Shadow, that's Star Wars and G.I. Joe. Stacking him up next to some different scales, we have the SH Figure Arts Hulk and the Marvel Select Thanos. And finally, we're bringing it on home with the recently reviewed Mezco 112 Collective Tiger Stripe Wolverine and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee Mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. At the end of the day, I'm really stoked on this figure. I knew it would be a solid update for the character, but I didn't know how nice it would feel in hand. You take for granted the prices of Hasbro toys go up, 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 but sometimes the quality does too. <laughs> the overall aesthetic is nice. This figure looks really clean. A uh, far cry from the anatomically confused beef jerky looking figures of yesteryear. Little details like the clawed hands and the split toes. Even this cape, I love how well it fits. And it's a simple thing, but again, this black they've chosen, it's really working for me. I don't think BP needs a lot accessory-wise, but I'm always game for John Francis Moorhead. Now, this is a new Marvel Legend on a new body mold, and it's damn near as good an action figure as you're going to find for 25 bucks. I wish he had a diaphragm cut instead of the ab crunch, and the toe cut is winning me over, but I am really enjoying the way he poses. Really dynamic. And the joints have this firmness. It feels a lot more premium. But on the whole, it's a pretty simple figure with a couple of overlays, and you know Hasbro can and has just phoned in a bucky cap in situations like this. But I think where we're at today, King T'Challa is a figure they really wanted to nail. I wish they'd put this care into all the figures. I mean, look at it. It's not that much to ask, right? Give us at least this for 25 bucks. Now, the retro-carded Black Panther release wasn't that long ago. Do you need this new one if you already have that one? Of course you do. It's a slightly different look. Come on. Also, that dude didn't have the butterfly shoulders, so... Yeah. I would unequivocally recommend this Marvel Legends Black Panther figure. And he's 25 buck. Not 28 or 35 or 45 like the new Iron Man. Get it while it's hot. As always, guys, thanks for taking the time. Hopefully you found this informative or at least entertaining. Leave a like, leave a comment. I will see you next time.